good timing with the plane just as about to start recording okay here's the Citroen Berlingo van as you can see at this moment in time it is very full of stuff I'm planning on taking the bulkhead out I'm planning on getting rid of this unit here so that I've got more space that's the whole thing this is just all gear from my previous car plus some stuff that I'm going to use to to help me with this so let's crack on So I've got everything out, at the moment it's just stacked by the side of the car and in the uh, driver's side, passenger side, sorry. If I jump in here, it's just not quite long enough for me to fully lay out in. So if I put my feet right to the back, to the back of the truck, then my head is about there. So my plan, get rid of this bulkhead first. But before I do that, I need to take out the shelf unit. I'm not even sure whether I might keep that yet. I doubt it, probably end up being firewood, but let's get it out first anyway. And it still won't move because he's very cleverly, whoever's done this has put them in the floor as well, keep it steady. So I'll just get those out. There, it's out, which opens up that van an awful lot more. Okay, now that's out, I think the next job is to get this bulkhead out. And this is just held in place with a load more bolts. Unbolting we go. I've hit a bit of a sticking block. So I've got all the bolts out. So this top panel should actually lift off. And it's not that that's stopping it, there's something else. And the other sticking block is the rest of the bolts are actually behind this side panel and that's not a sliding door. So I've got what, one, two, three, four, I think there is down there. Looking at the other side. Yeah, I think I can see four. I might have found a problem and I might regret having put all this bedding in there. There's some bolts at the back here and they look like they attach the, uh, the top panel to the bottom panel from the inside, from the other side. So, yeah, oh, there's quite a few of them as well. Damn. Good news, they're popping off quite easily. I've just got about another four or five to go. Right, I think I've got them all off. Let's see if it'll come off now moving a lot further what's stopping it I'm guessing it's like this it's this bit of wood stopping it now let's go and have a look at the other side it's all fun and games eh right so this seat belt is attached to it so it's the mid seat seat belt. I'm planning on taking the mid seat out anyway, but how do I get that seat belt attachment off? That's a million dollar question, isn't it? So that's the driver's seat and I've shunted that as far forward as it'll go. And down here, the seat belt is bolted in. So I'm gonna take that out. Right, the next stage, in order to access the bolts that are holding the rest of this in place on the other side, I have to take that panel out. All right, so what I've done is I've actually forced this panel back and bent it. It will be creased when it goes back in place, but at least I've got access to those bolts now. Fingers crossed this all works out. So I think I've got the last bolt out, so let's pop that back in place. Hey, that's not too bad. Right, will this come out, this bulkhead? I know I can get that. It seems like it'll move. Ah, there are hooks at the back, I think. There we go. So that's one part out. Right, how does this bit come out now? What's stopping this? 
Ah, bolts at the bottom by the look of it. Right, more unbolting. Somewhat unbelievably, these bolts aren't metric. So I'm having to use the mill grips to loosen them and then uh, finger screw them. Oh, shoot me. I hope the car doesn't fall apart. <laughs> Right, that's all of those out. What do you reckon the next obstruction's gonna be? Right, let's have a look, eh? Let's see if this will pull out. It's almost there. Oh, there's a couple of little stoppers on the side here. Oh, there can't be anything else stopping it, surely to God. Bloody well is. I bet there's another bolt hidden down there somewhere. Sneaky little bugger. There is. Bloody hell. Right, it's out. Oh, that took some doing. Is this gonna lift up? Oh, I'm crying out loud. Ah! Somewhat unbelievably, there's another damn bolt. And yeah we are due to get some thunderstorms today it is currently about half past one and they're not due till about four but that doesn't look promising does it and all my stuff some of it's all right outside but that wouldn't be oh crying out loud starting to get bruised hands and everything trying to get into these things is that the last damn one please yes Ah, oh, at last. Yay, it's out. And what that does now is it gives me the option if I put this middle seat down, I've taken the headrest off, and if I drop this middle seat, got my hands full with the camera, so I'm going to make it look difficult. Let's try and do that with the camera between my knees. Pull that middle seat down. There we go. It doesn't matter if I'm in the driver's seat. I'm currently in the passenger seat, but I can now actually easily get through from the front to the back nice right so i put the seat back in the driver's position where i'm going to be driving it from because i just want to see what it's like if i lay out in it with my feet touching there how much room have i got at the top oh and that's not bad my head my head just touches the driver's seat there and this brings me to the next question I had. My plan for this was never to do a fancy build. It was to do something simple and practical. And because I already had lo have lots of camping gear, could I get a bed in it? Well, not with the seat in that position. So let's move the driver's seat forward and see what happens. That's a bit of a jigger, isn't it? So whilst the door shuts at the back, the legs fall off there. However, what's to stop me sleeping this way around? What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to duct tape all this underfloor carpet to the, uh, to the framework here. And of course, the other way I could do this without the bed is just to lay on my big Berghaus air mat. It just fits in. If I was to push the seat back a little bit, I'm at a bit of a diagonal in the, in the van, but I could always prop the mat up at the side and keep it semi-inflated and then have my stuff around me because I'm planning on utilising the wall space quite nicely. I've got plenty of stuff to hang stuff with. Hmm. So I think for me, the next stage is just to do a bit of a clean down and then start getting a bit of insulation in on the floor. Before I put that panel back on there, I'm gonna put some foam in there. Might take that off and put some foam in these two. Yeah, I'm actually hoping to get out for a camp tonight in this. So I won't be using the bed, I will be using the mat because I know that I can make that work. So let's crack on, eh? All right, so I've stapled some camping mats to the wood floor with a view to putting some rugs over the top. 
it's only a rough job you know it's not brilliant around the edges and stuff but it's just to provide a bit of insulation and a little bit of comfort under the rugs i kind of don't believe it i've had this rug off cut for ages I can't even remember where i got it from i think one of my customers gave it to me because that is more or less made to fit <laughs> that's pretty cool that <laughs> yeah check that out that's not bad is it i think i'm just going to staple it down a bit but what i've done is there was a bit of excess at the back and rather than cut it off i've rolled it up and wedged it in and you know what it's actually helping create that bit of extra bit i need behind the driver's seat i have just pulled the driver's seat back so i can check that uh, this, this isn't in the way and it's not and I, do you know Quite chuffed with that so i've actually got three rugs that i've not been using so that's the first one i rolled in then this one, I mean, I've just rolled that in and look at that. Perfect on either side. The only snag with this one is it does fall a little short at the top end. However, then I've also got this other one, which I was looking at uh, going crossways. And that, do you know what? I, th I think if I was to slide that up so that it, this fits in there and move it up a little bit so that it rolls up the wall a tad, then slide that down. I think I'm going to reposition these. Yeah, I am. Those clouds are looking ominous again. It's now quarter past three. Anyway, I haven't changed those rugs around. I'm going to leave these like this for now because I want to see how they settle. So this one is just kind of rested against the back. The one that I tucked in there is tucked in. I, I wanted to tuck this one in, but that is so tight in there and I can't get anything else in there at the minute. Not quite sure what to do about that yet. I might just roll that over actually. Yeah, that'll do for now. In case you haven't gathered, this is going to be very much a work in progress. <laughs> right, outside there on that bed, there's some of the leftover foam that I had on the floor. I've got that roll of foam there, which I used to make camping mats with. And then I've also got three extra camping mats there. So I'm going to use some of that to insulate these walls behind the boards and so on. Okay, so I've put some of this foam behind all the panels, including the big one behind me. I've also got some insulated camping mats, which I was planning on using. It's these reflective ones. And they're just foam, closed cell foam, but they're insulated. And what I thought I could do is put a piece across the walls with a view to, um, creating a bit of reflected light as well, as much as anything. With it having a bit of a mirror effect, if I put a torch on in here, it will reflect off here, back into the room, and it will reflect heat back too, so I just thought it might be useful. So I'm gonna give that a go. I think that'll help. It's not pretty, but as I say, I'll add a bit of reflected light. All right, I think that'll do for now in terms of the interior. The question now is, is where do I put everything? Now I have got a bag full of stuff there with some S hooks in, bungee cords, that kind of thing. So I think I'm just gonna try and set it up loosely. Yeah, loosely, very loosely and quickly. <laughs> got some door protectors here from Halford, which I'm gonna clip on. There we go, I'm gonna put those on both doors. So I bought these bungee nets from Amazon I thought there was only three in a pack, but there's actually six. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've just screwed a couple on here. Well, I've screwed one on here. I'm going to screw another one onto there. And I'm going to attach, I think, there's some come with sticky pads. So I might put some on there and see how they work with the sticky pads. Because it'd be quite useful to have some stuff by my bed. I think I'm done. <laughs> in every sense of the word. <laughs> right, let me show you what I've done. Bearing in mind, this is the first generation of this. This is, it may go through many iterations, but this is what it's gonna be, at least for a while. So as you saw, I put some foam behind this wooden panel in. You can still see a little bit of it there, as well as put some of this reflective stuff on, and that's to reflect a bit of light into the, into the cab, really. And then I've got these little mesh nets. Now, some of these are coming unstuck, so I may have to find an alternative to that but the screwed ones are here oh well, look the ones come unstuck there don't know how long these are going to last this is going to be well it's all part of the fun i guess isn't it 
bed as you can see the table is there now that ultimately will end up moving if you can see there's no cleaning gear in here when I'm cleaning that will move into the back of here somewhere and my cleaning gear will go there and that's then the only thing I'll have to take out I've got plenty of S hooks hanging around and I've got various bits and bats hung from those and my cargo netting that I had in the other car that's actually up here I've got that set up quite nicely I'm quite happy with that there's my tarp in case I need to create a shield somewhere and um, what else can I show you I think that's about it really I just need to play about with this meshing and uh, so I've got some basics on that side like toilet roll there's some of the meshing attachments and so on I've stuck them in there uh, bin liners camping gear cushions let's have a look in the other side there's that framework that I took out of it pretty much got the front set up all right this will go down when I want to walk through the back oh look what I've done here I've got loads of bungee cords on the ceiling and I've been able to get my brolly up there out of the way and all my paddles so <laughs> don't know how that's going to work don't know whether they're going to flap around too much I don't think so because I've wrapped a little cord around them to keep them together and slashed, uh, lashed that to one of the cords I've also got a couple of spare bungees knocking around here it's just in case I'm going to hang stuff I've got them, I have them so I might as well just you know have them hanging around so that I can use them if I need them I've um, got another little mini bungee wrapped around a water bottle there that's it, I think this is good for a trial. The only question is, is have I got the energy to do it tonight? Because I am supposed to be meeting the boys tomorrow at Draco's for a paddle, and I did think, well, why don't I go and camp? Just stay there the night. Who knows what I'll do. Anyway, there might be a little clip after this if I've done that. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you've got any questions about what I've done, I know this is rough shot. But if you've got any questions about what I've done, what my ideas are, by all means, drop them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. You take care of yourself. Cheerio.